click that like button. Click the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, okay? So welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I am so stoked to see you guys. This is the second, second. <laughs> I can't speak, second. This is the second, yes, Pamela, the second episode of Let's Talk Fragrance with Pam Jordan. Hey, your girl doing it. Hey, who sang that song? Hello, Cool J. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. That's all I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we've got eight of you in here. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. First of all, let me let you know that right off the bat. And I see my hair sticking up again. I can never keep my hair right. There we go. That's much better, right? So let's see who we've got in here. Ooh, hold on, guys. It is burning up. All of a sudden, the temperature went high. Hold on one second. Yes, we got to get some heat up in this joint, some air, some circulating, because I, I am producing a lot of heat. So let's see who we have in here tonight. We have Wendy. Hey! Hi, Wendy. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining me. We've got Cynthia. Yes. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad to see you guys. Hey. We have Latanya. Hi, Latanya. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Courtney. Hi. We also have Ms. Chantel. Hi. Hi, Chantel. Hey, Phil Mizon. Hi. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Hi, Yvonne. Hey. Yvonne and I have been shopping up a storm. I'm not going to take this blame all by myself. <laughs> Yvonne and Anicia's fault. Yep. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I see. Let's see. I think I saw Kimberly. Yes. Hi. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, JC. There you are. Hello. Hi, JC. Pleased to see you again. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Blue. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Beauty Flash. Oh, you are an Aries, baby. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday to you. Mine was Wednesday. Look at that. So Deborah's Deb Days was Tuesday. Mine was Wednesday and JC's was yesterday. How cool. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Hi. It's good to see you. Hi, Tosh. Oh, Angie. Ah! Hi. Hi, my dear friend. Hi, Dawn. Hey. Hi, Soprano. How you doing? It's good to see you, my dear. OMG. This is so cool. Hi, Shayna. This is really awesome. Hi, Jen. Hello, hello. Good evening. Thank you so much, guys, for joining. I really appreciate you. Hi, Kia. I thought I saw. I knew I saw it. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Oh, there my girl. Oh, Lord. Hey, all I got to say is if you get a, a phone call, a text, a message from one Joseph Jordan, there's another song. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. I'm just saying. <laughs> it ain't my fault. <laughs> Hello, Andy Wheeler. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you joining the live tonight. Thank you so, so very much. OMG. Hey, JC, Kim is saying, Kimberly is saying, happy birthday to you too. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, what a birthday. I really had a good time on my birthday. I stayed home. I didn't do anything, obviously, but let's see. Who else did I see sneak up up in here? Priya, hi. Hi, Priya. <laughs> hey home slice i like that <laughs> hi nisha hi oh gosh <laughs> i'm sorry i already did all i gotta say is what i asked for it started with a k 
It ended with an R. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see. Anybody else I'm missing? I think I got everyone that came in. <laughs> yes. OMG. I think I got everyone that came in. Yummy saying happy birthday. JC and myself and Deb Day. And I want to say there was one more person that had a birthday recently. And I'm trying to remember who it was. I, I thought I saw the post. So I can't remember. I'm so sorry. But there's a lot of March babies up in here. And we all love perfume. <laughs> Hi, Ty. Hey, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you. Hey, <laughs> hi, Winter Michelle. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, as y'all see, I'm trying to eat. Look at that. Your girl got the half a shell. <laughs> oh, gosh, we're moving soon, so I can't be buying a whole bunch of furniture to stuff stuff, but I needed somewhere to look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to my eye when I look back there, so. That's what I put up there. I'm working on it. Yeah, I'm, your girl's working on herself. I'm working on getting my inner perfume piece. Okay. <laughs> yes. Lots of Aries. AI is Aries too? What? I did not know that. I did not see her post though. I didn't see her birthday post. And Tanya. That's right. Tanya Felice. That's the one that I saw. Okay. Let's see. Shanna said her. Oh, yay. We're birthday twins, your daughter and I. Absolutely fantastic. OMG, that's pretty cool though. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I am wearing a older outfit. <laughs> you can't find this nowhere. And I wish I had bought all the colors that I could get my hands on, to be quite honest with you. You know when you find something and you're like, oh, I'll just buy one or whatever, and then you regret it and you go back to the store and there's no more? Yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> let's see here Shana's daughter turned on the 24th let's see here someone said oh hold on my daughter turned 18 that was Shana somebody said I thought I saw something else <laughs> it's not here yet it's not here yet I don't even know if he bought it to be quite honest with you I just I heard oh my god coming from the office and I just went a little further into the uh, closet. And you know the closet's small and I closed the door. And then I just come out and I said, okay, baby, I'm leaving for work. Bye. <laughs> well, it, I guess it wasn't helpful that he had just gotten off a plane like about three hours earlier. I should have waited. Huh? <laughs> I should have waited. Nah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, Aries. Make your way for the Taurus. Says, yes, my grandmother was Taurus. She could... You, you just no you didn't play with her nah? no 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 thumbs up everyone please oh yes i am excited as well i do have some items in here that are new to my collection and some of them you've already seen but i'm doing tonight fragrances that i'm actually really enjoying and loving all of these i couldn't put all of them and respect you guys's time in one video because y'all know your girl like to talk okay so I couldn't do all of that. So what I decided to do was, um, oh, first of all, I've been forgetting to do this. Guys, I told y'all I'm trying to use up my makeup. So I pulled out this oldie but goodie MAC. This, I don't know if y'all remember this collection. I think this was like 214 or 2014, 2015, this collection. And um, this is the color. It's a pink. And the reason I pulled this out is because I'm wearing the House of Siage. Let's see here. It's going this way. Yep. Can you see it? Guys, I'm loving that palette. It's real simple, easy. It's nothing like crazy, crazy, but it's real easy and blendable and all of that good stuff. So I'm, I've been wearing the House of Siage palette all week, the cheap colors all week. I didn't think it was going to show up on me, but once I put on my bronzer and I tap it in because it builds, it's buildable, it shows up on my cheek. And so I thought this lipstick would go good with this. So this is work makeup. I just put some more powder around my lines. Yes, child. So that's what a girl got on. But hey, D'Angelo. Hey. I thought I saw my girl. Ah, hi, Sheila. Girl, I ain't seen you in a month of 10 Sundays. Where you been? <laughs> Where have you been? 
I'm missing you. I am missing you. D'Angelo, it's good to see you, my friend. All right. All right. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you so very much. This is the first birthday that I actually had. No, it's not the first birthday I had a party, but it's the first birthday. My first, like my first birthday party was when I was stationed in Korea. My, um, one of my best friends, um, my matron of honor, actually, she, she, we were in Korea stationed together and she put, they put a party. It was live. You hear me? It was live. I had almost the entire one-to-one. -one. That's the hospital I used to work in. Whole one-to-one -one up in my little, up my apartment wasn't that little, but my apartment. And then we went to the club and we had a section in the club. It's called the one-to-one -one section. If you ever go to Seoul, Yangsan, I don't even know if that's still open. You might see my picture still up on the wall. <laughs> yes, but we had such a great time. So she threw that party for me and um, her and my other girlfriend, Frances. And then uh, this Wednesday was my birthday, as I said, and my kids and my hubby, we stayed here and we celebrated. It was just really nice. And then my kids and I, we put together that little shelf -y thing back there. Um, and Nathan ate most of my cake. Mm-hmm. It's one of those fluffy cakes with the strawberries, like a, a healthy cake, like a um, strawberry shortcake, but it's a lot lighter. Yeah, so that's what I had. So yeah, it was good. It was really, really good. Hi, Nadia. Hi, my love. Hey. Yes. Okay, so let's get started, guys. So I have in front of me quite a variety of fragrances that I am truly, truly, truly enjoying out of my collection. And <laughs> I don't know what to say other than there is nothing that feels better than knowing that when you buy fragrances that you're actually using them and that you're loving them and that you're appreciating them. I can't tell you, you know, I really can't say anything other than that. And, and, and I'm getting to a point where I'm really like happy to walk in my closet, happy to play with my fragrances. I brought my house of sillage, um, only five of them out here. I bought some Chanel out here cause that's a Chanel picture back there. Um, and then, of course, the Mickey Mouse and House of Siage is at the bottom there. So I'm going to get some lights. I'm going to fix that up a little bit so it can be seen in the um, videos when we're doing it. But, um, guys, nothing is better, in my opinion, when you're spending money and you're spending money and you're happy about it. You know, like you're, you're using the stuff. And <sighs> watching Spicy, even watching, like, uh, Perfume Lover 80, she just did the huge haul, part one and stuff like that. But watching folks use their stuff it's just not sitting there nika it, you know using the fragrances pat you know it's just exciting so my collection is getting there and some things are gonna go yes some things have to go but a lot of these are staying in fact all of these here so far are staying so what i'm gonna do is start off with one that i have been talking about since it came home to me and this my dears um, oh my goodness, we got 350 people. Hey, guys, I know that y'all like to stay silent. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up. Please, please, please. There's 354 of you in here right now. Please, okay? All right, so let's get back to this. Guys, this is the Talia Pharaohs. I have been talking this brand up since Chai Sense, okay? It's his fault. Ooh, Wonder Woman. Yes, I like it too. I really love Wonder Woman. I really love one of but you throw some emerald uh, rain on that bad boy or some, um, the one with the patchouli, the green one that everybody else likes. My mind is going today, right? It's just gone. So good, I can't remember. Let me bring it. This one right here, which is Passion de l'Amour. I literally blanked out. So Passion de l'Amour and the Wonder Woman goes well together, layers beautifully. Passion de l'Amour does that very, very well. Also, the Emerald Rain layers beautifully with the Wonder Woman as well. It changes the composition of the fragrance. It goes from not so tropical to a little more spicy, but it's, it, I'm telling you, play with it a little bit on your hand and, and you'll see. All right, guys. So I was talking about the Talia Ferro, guys. I'm not talking this stuff up just to talk. This is so pretty. This one is a two. So ugh. I have um, Cloud Nine. 
and I like both of them. I like Cloud Nine and I like um Room One Two Nine. And I want to I want to get them all, but I have to slow my roll. I have to slow my roll, but I want to get them all because I mentioned when in my unboxing how they look like Maison Francisco John's bottle, and I have one of these here as well. Look at that, right? Of course, this is a gold cap, but the caps for this is um, acrylic, right? It's it's light acrylic, so it's not as you know substantial, and you could feel it even in the weight. But this is a bigger bottle than this, of course. But I think it's very classy looking. Okay, so this is Telia Ferro, and this one when I smell it. I can tell you right now, this is the um, Cloud Nine. Although it could be the room one to nine. Jesus, no, this is Cloud Nine. <laughs> Guys, this is beautiful. Cloud Nine has. Mm, I want to spray it again. I have something else on already, but I can't help myself. Yes, yes, it's nice. It almost has, well, not almost, it has like a bubble yum. If you remember back in the day, the bubble yum, you know that powdery uh, layer on top of the bubble yum chewing gum? It has like that, 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 that's what I get. And then I get Kool-Aid. If you used to, okay, raise your hand if you used to take Kool-Aid, open the pack and put the Kool-Aid without mixing it in water just to make your tongue and your teeth red and stuff like that. I used to do that. Mmm. And when it died, hi, Cynthia, hi. Oh, uh, and when it dies down or it dries down on the skin and uh, y'all know I'm, I'm a big fan of this, right? Look at that. Look at that fragrance oil. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 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 love it. Absolutely love it. My goodness, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. So. Cloud Nine. That's my first one that I am absolutely loving. And it was only $50 because he marked it down from $69.99 to $50 right now. So if you go on his site, the Kalia Farrow, and he's responsive. So when I talk to him on um, Instagram, I ain't asked for nothing free, <laughs> you know, but he um he responds. And for 50 bucks, it smells good. It doesn't smell like anything else right out the bat. It doesn't smell like anything else. It smells like I could mix it. I get like a little smoky vibe to it too, a little oody, but it's it's lovely. Let's see, is Cloud Nine the fruity one or the room? Cloud Nine is the fruity one. Although room one to nine also has cherry in it. Okay, so mm, yummy. Let's see, Kimberly says hibiscus is the ingredients in cool. Ah, ah, love it. Love it. So if you can get your hand on this, um, I think this is 50 milliliters and it's really cool. I did a little Instagram live um, when I was unboxing it because I unboxed, like I opened the box and I saw the packaging. Courtney, tell me if you felt this way when you opened the box and you saw the packaging. I was like, OMG, how cute. The details, I absolutely adored. So I just like, yeah, I had to do a live on that. Mm. Yes, Beauty Flash, only $50, 50 bucks for this. I love it. And it came within a week. So the first one, guys, I'm talking about is, um, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me pull it because it's not a Fragrantica yet. So I can pull up his site, the Talia Pro. And his site is so she she. I say everything is she she these days, but you know, I really enjoy, you know, plus he is a sample kit. And today I found out he's actually creating a new sample kit because my question was if I already bought these fragrances and I want to sample others, is there a way to switch the samples around? So he said he's working on something right now. So with Cloud Nine, the ingredients are uh, sugar cookie, amber, and vanilla. Mm, it is beautiful, guys. The cherry, this doesn't have no fruits in it. But when I first spray it, I smell Kool-Aid. Bubbly, yummy, kind of, you know, that's that's what I get with it. And then the other one that we were talking about, um, which is Room 129, that one has cherries. That's the one with cherries in it. Cherry powder and bubble gum. So 
It's funny because I smell bubblegum on this one too. I love them all. I do. Unless this is, I might have gotten them mixed up. No, this is room 129. Yeah, because I'm smelling strongly cherry. Yeah, so I love both of them. So this is room 129, guys. Cloud 9 is delicious. Courtney's right. I wore that to sleep last night. And I had a good nap. I didn't want to wake up for work this morning. <laughs> Hi, Shoe Lady. Uh, Shoe, Shoe Lady made me laugh today. She uh, posted and she's like, yeah. I, I did the video with the house to see us. And she's like, yeah, that's an easy pass or a hard pass. So I'm going to start laughing in my office when I saw the note. <laughs> because it's true, you know. Uh, mm, guys, okay. Back to this fragrance. So this one is actually room one to nine. That's why I'm smelling that nice cherryish vibe. So that's the first one that I'm definitely, definitely, I'm, I'm loving, love, love, loving it. Okay. Another one that I'm loving, and I talk about this quite a bit, and you guys know that I'm loving it. This is my, I've shared some of this already. And so I haven't made quite a dent in it, but oh, Guys, Mongolon Floral. Loving this fragrance. If you don't like the regular Mongolon, if for some reason you are unimpressed, I know Mandy did a video. It's a few months now. She did a video. Guys, try the floral. It gives you a different perspective, in my opinion. The lavender, same, it's got the lavender and all that stuff in it, but it's beautiful. And I think the floral, if you could tell that there's a distinct difference in the scent between the floral and the original. I would like to get my hands on the sensual. I would like to get my hands on all of them just to smell them. But, mmm, gorgeous. Let's see here. Does he ship to Canada? I think he does. Nisha, when we get off here, Send him an Instagram message and tell him that I sent, you know, like I talked about him in the live and stuff like that. And um, I think he does ship to Canada. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Mm. Yes, he put Lady Courtney on it. Yes, I loved it. I was, I was like feeling, I truly, truly felt so special. I felt so special. I oh, That was Wednesday too. It's one of the boxes I opened up on Wednesday. Mm. Hi, Casino. Hey. Okay. So, hi. Dear. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Guys, I am telling you. Let's see. Jennifer says she's new to the channel. And I got surprises to see your audience. People must be loving you. Oh, thank you. You know what? I am surprised too. You know, um, because I'm kind of quirky and I call it quirky. Some people think it's annoying. <laughs> And I am a little bit loud, but I'm from the Caribbean, so I'm a little, I don't call it loudness. I just call it like I am, I have a exuberance for life. Yeah, I'm high on life. So, yeah. Mm, guys, yes. So if you have not smelled Mongolon Floral, this is one fragrance that I think is going to be my collection. I am loving this right now. I actually did a little test mixing it with, um... I mixed it one night to go to bed with Giorgio Armani C. And I also mixed it to go with Jessica Simpson's Fancy. Because you guys know I like that one for nighttime. The caramel in it. And this and those those two fragrances, they smell great together. They smell great on their own. But this one here, I wear daytime, nighttime. To me, it's transitional. All throughout the year, I wear Mongrelon. And this here is the floral version. Now, the floral version, I'll tell you real quick the difference between that one. The difference between the floral, I think, and the original, they both got woodiness and all that good stuff in it. But I think this has some citrus in it that that's making, that's what gives it just a slight, just a slight, um, brightness. It's a little brighter as where the original is a lot not a lot, but a little creamier. I'm still digging this. OMG, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Talia Ferro, room one to nine. Yes, child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna have me some tea. I'm drinking.
drinking some tea because my, um, you know, I'm getting older and my throat's not as good as it used to be. Have you smelled Eli Sab? Hold on. Girl of the, I, yes, I have. I got rid of my Eli Sab. I had the shine and the original was a little bit too much for me, too cloying a little bit. And so I bought, I got the shine for Christmas and I sold that recently. Because I really, hi, the missus. Hi. I am really trying to just keep fragrances in my collection that I just want to love, that I know that I can, I love. Okay. So, oh, look at my cup. I'm t only talking to my dog today. <laughs> TJ Maxx. <laughs> I love TJ Maxx. Okay, so that's Mongrelon Floral. So the next fragrance that I'm absolutely loving right now, and I was not anticipating that I was going to be like this, and I mentioned it in a couple videos already. As a matter of fact, I talked about it on Sunday. You haven't smelled that one. Kimberly, I think you will like it. I wish I had known that because then I would have sent you a sample when I sent your last package. Guys, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I know. I'm eating crow, cardboard. I got a whole bunch of cardboard boxes over here because, yeah. Because I talk all kind of smack about this fragrance. It does not last. That is true. It is a well-known fact. But OMG, is it beautiful. So much so beautiful, I went and I bought another, I bought a bigger bottle. I did. Because this one ain't going to last very long. I think I, it might make it to summer. It might. Yep. It might make it to summer. Mm. Yes. Kimberly, uh, Kimberly, please um, do me a favor. I kept that up there for a reason. Do me a favor. When we get off the live, um, set, ooh. guys, I know Rose is laughing <laughs> like that because I talk all kind of smack to her about this fragrance. Lost Cherry is really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Teresa, hi. Hello. Lost Cherry is really beautiful. It just disappears very quickly. So I have been layering it um, with, where is my, I forgot my lotion. I am using the Lavender Vanilla Winter Michelle's Buddy Butter, which I was supposed to bring out here so I could show everybody what I've been using on my skin lately. Guys, that stuff has helped. My, I don't think, I don't know if she's still in here. Erica, Winter Michelle, she's also a um, content creator and she makes buddy butters. And my hands literally, literally, I can't speak, literally gets really, really dry. My cuticles peel down where they hurt really badly and stuff like that. I have very, very dry hands, brittle nails and whatnot. Even though I drink a lot of water, right? And so I have been putting the lavender vanilla because I'm all out of my bourbon vanilla. So I use the lavender vanilla and then I layer this on top of it and I absolutely love it. Now this bottle, as you see, is small enough that I could take it with me. See how small it is, right? Look at that, small. So I could throw this in my purse and take this with me and spray and when I layer it, I don't get a funky um, smell. You know, sometimes you put on too many a perfume and you keep on layering it because you're trying to refresh it and it doesn't smell good after like the third refresh and this is not like that. So this is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. If you have Lost Cherry or you like it or you don't like it, put it down in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it after we get off of, um, of the live. Please do so. Okay. And guys, if you just got in here again, I am Pam. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hi! Hi, you big to Simone. How are you, my dear? Let's see here. I want to sample lost cherry the other day. There was nothing in the bottle. <laughs> because it got lost. <laughs> because it got lost. That's why. Let's see here. <clears throat> Ooh, thank you. Definitely, definitely going to try that. Definitely going to try that. I cannot stop sniffing this doggone room 129. Wow. It's nostalgic. I just, I got the memory of Kool-Aid, you know. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, lost, I love it. 
I I went from not wanting to spend all this money on this fragrance. And then also, guys, if you have a CCO near you, you need to go to your CCO because there are Tom Ford fragrances at the CCO. There's Tom Ford makeup at the CCO. I have to do a Tom Ford haul, a CCO haul. But I haven't done it yet because I'm not done hauling. <laughs> but it's coming, okay? Hi, Britt. Hey. How you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you. Yes. Guys, CCO, you get in them 50% off. So go to your CCO, drive the hour, call them first. Go online, type in CCO on Google, right? And then you put in like a hundred mile radius to see all the CCOs and then call every one of them. I even had some stuff shipped from North Carolina. I'm not playing, okay? And um, the only thing is I wanted the big decanters because I was putting in my head, I had a design in my head, right? And then when I get down to um, Texas, I have a design in my head how I want to, um, what my closet is going to look like, where my room I'm going to film in like. So I wanted decanters of the fragrances that I love and some of the limited edition stuff, but they don't ship the decanter. So you have to go buy it because it will break. Yes. Let's see. Um, no, so it's marked down from $69. I'm going over there right now. It's marked down from $69 to 50. So he's giving uh, 20, 24% off, something like that right now. And you can reach out to him on Instagram. Um, I don't know. I, I feel, I don't ask. I, I should, because I always ask for military discount when I go to restaurants or, or stores and stuff. Do you guys give military discounts and stuff? But I feel really bad asking them, especially the smaller perfumers and stuff, for discounts. So 50 bucks, you know. I love it. I love it. I might, when I do my video on that, I'm going to have a surprise and I, I, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so the last one that I know that I love, fragrance that I love, we're discussing today is Lost Cherry. If you haven't smelled Lost Cherry, go to Dillard's. They may have it there because I know our Dillard's in the city, in Oklahoma City, has a, um, they have a Tom Ford counter. And I'm telling you, and Lost Cherry is full price in Sephora still, okay? So Lost Cherry is sweet, it's almondy. That's what I probably like about it because I like nutty scents. Vanilla, warm, amber. You know, it's a great scent for the winter. It's a great scent. To me, you can wear it any wear fragrance anytime, anyhow you want it. Anytime. Okay? And anywhere. All right, so let's move on. My next fragrance that I am loving, I cannot go through a video at all and talk about all my loves and not talk about this. The problem is I can't see where this is at, but I think I'm already halfway through this. I didn't think I didn't think I would like use this much. This I really didn't think that. So I'm going to reach out to him because I have to buy another bottle pretty soon. But guys, this is Notorietta by Maison de Darius, another independent house, another black perfumer. Oh, by the way, for those of you that don't know, Talia Ferro, the Talia Ferro is a black. He is a black perfumer. Okay. Young guy. Really, when you listen, when you watch Chai Sense 773, go watch his video. He did an interview with the Talia Ferro. And it was a great interview, and that's what made me want to buy it. The way he describes what he was thinking about when he was making his fragrances, that sold me right off the bat. I didn't know what it smelled like. I hadn't had no blind buy, and I'm so happy, extremely happy. So this is another gentleman. I bought the samples for this, however, and this is Notorietta, um, one of my favorites. Out of his original collection of five fragrances, I like four of them. So this is 50% perfume oil vanilla it's got caramel in there it's got a little bit of oud in there it is simply beautiful and this is notorietta this is by maison de darius absolutely love this and since i showed you look at that see that talia ferro look at that you see that you see the oil on my wrist right check this out just the little is needed Oof. this is another love and this when it dries down you see how gliss that's glistening right there? That's exactly how it's going to look. So when I'm wearing this fragrance and I spray it on, I actually have to press it into my skin like if it's like lotion because it's that intense and that it's intense. It's like being in Kuwait 
or Key West or Balad, Mosul. It just reminds me of walking through, you know, going to the shops when I was in Iraq and Kuwait. Yep. Okay. Look at that. See that? Maison de Darius. I'm telling y'all. Don't sleep on that guy. Let's see here. Oh, Latonia said something. Hold on. I missed some comments. Give me one second. I'll be right there. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Wendy, the dossier. So you guys are talking about dossier. Hold on. CCO outlet, yes. Estee Lauder products on discount. Absolutely. And Tom Ford, I believe, is under the Estee Lauder um, brand. Let's see. Yes, very much so. I didn't buy it, but I know some folks who did and said that that's what they smell. Yes. You can get it at Nordstrom or you can go to your CCO if you just want and call them and they will mail it to you also. Yes, they will. They'll mail it to you. No matter where, where it's at, they will mail it. Let's see here. Tony says, you're welcome. I have two bottles of it from Dossier. Okay. Hi, Mighty Strong. Hello. I'm so happy to see you, my dear. Okay, the black perfumer is, I'm going to put it in the comments. It's called the, actually, I could put his link. Ha, ha, ha. I can do it one better. Oh, okay. Y'all know I'm extra, right? And you also know I'm tangential. Guess what I saw in Ulta? I, if you watch if Marvel, there is WandaVision makeup in Ulta. No, I didn't buy any. I'm trying not to buy no makeup because I want to save my money for perfume. <laughs> I just put the link into the, um, the direct link. Mm, in the comments, the Talia Ferro, guys, 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 guys. Oh, Nick has a code. Oh, for dossier. Well, guess what? Pam also has one too. <laughs> that video is coming out tomorrow. <laughs> that video is coming out tomorrow. OMG, guys. I'm telling you, dossier. Let me get back to this. Maison de Darius. This bottle was $165.99. I don't know, 75 mil, I want to say it was. I don't remember. All I know is I shared some with some people and they really enjoyed it and they really love it. And I'm telling you, if you are into really nice fragrances, very beautifully blended fragrances, so far, Independent fragrances that I have tried. I've tried Maya Angel. I've tried um, PM, which is um, PM Fragrances, Pink Mahogany. I have tried Chris Collins. I have tried Maison de Darius. And my latest has been the Talia Ferro. This is still my number one. Still my number one. No one can touch this young man yet. Okay? Not yet. They're trying to come for him, but they got to keep coming. Okay, look at that, guys. Let me see if I can. I'm not a good, like, swatch. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The oil went all the way around my hand. Right? Can you see? Yes. Gorgeous. Put it on my legs. And just sexy. And it becomes, you know, I talk about skin sense. It becomes skin sense, right? But... You smell it all day long. And you put that on clothes. If you're putting it on clothes, I would not recommend it. Excuse me. Unless it's clothes that can handle a little bit of oil. Like cottons. Thicker cottons. You know, but if you put it on silk, satin, um, rayon, and stuff like that, oil will tend to, you know, oil will stain. Okay. So the next fragrance, let me move these over here so I know that I already talked about them. I can put them down here. The next fragrance that I'm going to talk about, y'all, I'm bringing the heat. I'm bringing the heat. I'm bringing the heat. This is Valet. Since it started getting warmer, 
This has a nice green vacations by Tiziana Terenzi. Y'all know I love these bottles. Y'all know I love these bottles. If I could collect all of them, I would, but then I wouldn't wear them, right? I wouldn't because I wouldn't have time to wear them. <laughs> but Valet by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, absolutely love this fragrance. This is clean, crisp, fresh. I wore this to work the other day. I did the, where you spray in the back of your neck and then you lift your shirt up or whatever. And then you spray like in the front. Guys, absolutely stunning fragrance. It's not, I don't hear a lot of people talking about Valet. I think Brooklyn Fragrance Lover did a video, rest his, rest, in, rest his Soul. He did a video, that's where I watched, and maybe a couple of other YouTubers, but this one here, not a whole lot of people did videos on these. They talked about Spiritual Fiorentino. They talked about um, Aphrodite. They talked about uh, Andromeda. They talked about Deluxe. Um, but not a lot of folks talked about, they talked about Papora, Marama. The lay, if you're looking for something that's nice, clean, simple, um, but still something that you won't smell on nobody else. I don't have anything else in my collection and that smells like Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, except that some of them smell alike. So this one is very close to Kirk, not Kirk, there's another one. What's the name of it? It's another one the white bottle that I've got. Smells very close to it. When I say close, meaning there are some elements of the tropicalness or the greenness to it, but for the most part, mm -mm. no, ma'am. Mm -mm. This one is in a league of its own. A league of its own. Let me pull up the notes real quick. I think this is the one with sand in it. I'll tell you if this is the one. Okay, so this is tropical, fruity, green, sweet, vanilla, floral, powdery. It also is fresh, spicy. Now, top notes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. This man, I'm telling you, genius. I love perfumers that think outside the box. Starts off with green leaves, mango, passion fruit, fur. Yes, fur as in Christmas tree fur. Yes, F-I-R and red current. Those are the top notes. Very rarely do you see that combination of top notes in the fragrance because sometimes people do fruit and fruit or fruit and vanilla, you know, like sweet and sweet, that kind of stuff. Then the middle notes are heliotrope, ylang ylang, hyacinth, umbacaja, jasmine, and rose. Then the base notes, he brings back the fruit. Fruits are normally put in the first layer and the second layer from what I've noticed, but he brings back the fruits. He puts papaya and if it's, there are different kinds of papaya, but there are some papayas that has like a more greenish taste to it. Then he puts vanilla musk, princess tree, amber, and all spice. So the only spice that I see in here as I'm looking at it, spice, spice, as we know spice to be, would be the all spice. I'm still smelling Maison de Darius, y'all. Yes, because every time my hand move, I can smell it. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. My dears, this is Valet, another one that I'm definitely, definitely loving in my collection. Let's see if we missed anyone. Which Terenzi? Um, that one is Valet. I'm putting it in the comment section, Brett. B-E-L-E. -E. Matter of fact, let's see if this will work where I can highlight it and put it in the comments. That way you can see it. When you go to uh, Fragrantica, you could just click the link and you can go straight to Fragrantica. I think that might work. <laughs> I hope that works. Let's see here. You got them all started, my dear. I wish I had time and space in the house to video. It's crossed my mind, though. We shall see. What? Uh-oh. Yes. Yes, Teresa. It is. Spray front and back. Yes. Yes. So I was watching, um, Dra I think it's Dragon Lord or Fragrance Lord. And what I learned is to spray my fragrance here because your hair is going to touch it. If you're wearing a wig or you have long hair, even if you have short hair, right? So you spray the back of your neck. So I'm an overspray. So I spray the back of my neck and the sides of the back of my neck. And then I lift up my shirt for work and I spray. And all day long, I can smell my fragrance because if I let, if I don't let it dry and my shirt hits it, I'm getting it because now it's on my clothes and I can smell it all day. And I've been enjoying wearing that. I still spray in my arms. If I'm not wearing something with a sleeve, I still spray in my arms. And, um, but I don't do this. Any, I used to do this. 
it got in my wig and stuff, my wigs and stuff. And if it's a synthetic wig, it stays there. If it's a human wig, I can wash it off. So yeah, that's the back of my neck here. Some people put on their pulse points. I wear watches. I love bracelets and watches. So wearing jewelry, it's not smart. Plus it'll mess up your jewelry. Okay. It'll mess up your jewelry. If you wear costume jewelry, like this is a costume piece, but it still costs money. Right. And I don't want to mess it up. So I sometimes wait for my fragrances to dry. I don't like to put fragrance on my um, jewelry. I don't put fragrance on my diamonds. I don't even put cream on my diamonds. Um, on my Louis Vuitton loose side bracelets, I don't put fragrance. Well, no, I put fragrance on my arm and then it gets on the stuff. So I have to be careful with that. But yeah, let's see. Haven't checked that out. You like, okay. Lucretia, yes. Lucretia is sitting over there. She's sitting over there, right there. <laughs> I've got Lucretia and uh, Stramonio, and I'm in the process of trying to get my hands on Strict Nina and a couple others. Yep. All right, so let's see. Did I miss anyone coming in? I think I got everyone. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's move on forward. The next fragrance that I'm absolutely loving, and I did not think I was going to love as much, and this is new to my collection, and this is Cassili. This is brand new. This is a new buy. I didn't do a haul for this yet, but I will. It's probably going to be this weekend, hopefully. But this is Cassili by Parfums de Mali. Absolutely love that fragrance. I do. I love it a lot. I was not expecting to love it like that. I mean, like at first sniff. At first sniff, I was digging it. Okay. So that's Cassili by Parfums de Mali. I've had it for two weeks or three, two or three weeks. Now this is floral, fruity, great summer fragrance. Floral, fruity, sweet vanilla. It's nice and fresh as well. I think it's a great fragrance, an alternative to um, Delina. It's just different. It smells different than Delina. Top, it's got red currant and you can definitely smell the red currant. And it's got lots of flowers in it. It's got frangipani. It's got plum in it. You can smell it. The mimosa. It's just a different vibe. A completely different vibe from um, from Delina. Hey, Dr. Rose. I see somebody saying hi, but I don't see where she said hi. There she is. Hey. Yes. So, Cassili. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, that's what I'm actually absolutely loving without a doubt okay the next fragrance that i am loving right now and i talked about this several times um on the chat online people are talking about it because you know guys this italica and i have lira too here's been a question whether to buy italica or whether to buy lira to me, they smell different. They're both gourmandy smelling, but to me, they smell different. They both have the nutty vibe in it, but to me, they smell different. Lira has a more sumptuous to eat, like you want to eat that or drink. That's what it's, you know, Lira is just pure. It gets their senses, your olfactory, you know, not your olfactory, your, your mouth going, you know. This one, on the other hand, it's just real pretty. <laughs> Real pretty and more of a fruitier vibe to me. Lyra has more of a caramelly, you know, that type of Christmas, um, cozy, sitting by the fire. You go in on a, you go to Big Bear Mountain and you're on a ski trip and you're in a beautiful lodge and you're wearing like real nice, really, really thick furry, furry boots. You know, the ones that look like, you know, Big Bear, you know, and you, that's what Lyra gives me that vibe, that type of warmness. On the other hand, Italica, this one here, gives me more of a summer type vibe where you're going out, you know, after you go out and you hang out during a day, you're shopping with your girls, your guys, whomever, and you're having a good time with family and stuff like that. If you've ever been near a beach during the summer, it does get colder in the evenings. And so now you have just, just picture this here. You've gotten a nice pit. It could be a drum that you cut in half and you created a pit, but you got fires going, right? You've got on your swimsuit still damp from you being in the ocean or the water or the pool or whatever the case is. But this is what that, and then now drinks and stuff is coming. This is also giving me the vibe of if you go to a pool party at night, 
I talked about like all white parties and things of that nature. If you go to like an all white party and or or a night type summer, you know, where there's breeziness to it, this is beautiful, fruity, delectable, a slightly nutty, but it still gives you the summer vibe. And that's what Italica does for me. And I absolutely love this. Yes. Yes, child. Yes. I don't want to waste it on a strip, so I'm going to put it on me. Yep. I love her. <laughs> I still even have the plastic on it because this is white and I don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> mm, let me see. I missed some comments. How is Cassili on longevity? On the fence because I heard it does last. Okay, so I got... I want to say strong, strong projection about four hours. And then I stopped paying attention because I was doing something else. About four hours, I would say strong projection on my skin. I didn't, I didn't check to see if it lasted like seven, eight hours. But for me, four hours was great. I really enjoy it. I would say if you can get yourself, purchase a, a decant of it and test it out that way and then make a determination if you want to invest in the almost $400 bottle of uh, fragrance. That's what I would do first. Yes, yes, yes. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, Cassili is what you were asking. I thought you were asking about the Zerjoff. Yes. So Cassili on me, I got, how long did I wear that? I wore it to work. I got about five hours. I got about five hours. But then I sprayed here and then I sprayed on my chest. So I was smelling it because it was on my, it was on my uniform. I smelled it. Let's see here. Italica. Am I the only one who thinks Metallica? <laughs> no. Hey, I can handle four hours. <laughs> yes. Yummy. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And she's silent about it too. Not silent as in not talking. The way she does it, she's like a ninja. That's what I should say. She's a she's a ninja. <laughs> a ninja enabler. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, guys. I got a nice one for y'all coming up right now. Let's see here. Latonya says, I did sample this on store and really like it, but I have the belayered version of Bella the Irresistible. Oh, okay. I don't have any, I have one belayered fragrance and I haven't worn it enough to say that I'm going to keep that in my fragrance and that is a love. Okay. Keetra, hi. Hi, sweetheart. Keetra is royalty, y'all. <laughs> I called her royalty today. Okay, so another fragrance that I'm loving, and I cannot stop loving it, guys, is this one. And this is Holly by Tiziana Terenzi. Absolutely love this fragrance. I wore this this week as one of my fragrances of the days. And you can see I am, let's see if you can see the level. I'm here. Oh, I can turn it upside down. There we go. Right? You can see where my level's at. Turn it on the side. I, I'm not playing. I'm not playing with her. I'm not. I'm not. Hallie was spent money on, and so Hallie's going to get worn, okay? I'm not playing with her. Hallie is a great fragrance. Fruity, but it softens up. It doesn't remain like screeching or anything like that. When you first take off the cap, and I said that before, you're like, oh my God, this is really pretty. Wow, this is probably going to be really heavy because you get that muskiness to it. Child, let me tell you. When you spray this, that tropical, spray it on your neck and stuff, that tropical, it just blossoms. Halle is an excellent, excellent fragrance from Tiziana Terenzi. Great fragrance. I would highly recommend that one. <clears throat> Mac Turquoise smells like Bond. Okay. I don't have that. I only have one Bond. Let's see here. Yeah. I only have one belayered fragrance that I was gifted, and I actually really like it. It's very sweet, but I haven't worn it a lot. Okay. I am still wanting, in the back of my head, I'm still thinking about that mix that, um, that Erica talked about earlier. Because, yeah. All right, so my next fragrance that I actually love it, and it's a surprise to me. It truly is. 
Lancome's Idol Intense. I was surprised. I was like, when I did the live, I had the little bottle. Y'all remember that? Uh huh. I went and got the big bottle. I ain't playing. I went to the PX and I bought the big bottle. This here, it says intense, but it's not intense. It's not cloying. It's not crazy sweet. It is just really, really nice. It's very similar to me when I sprayed this on my arm. It was very, very similar to the Lancome uh, La Nuit, La Nuit Tresor Caress, the one with the pink rose that I got. Yes. So it has like a green, to me, it has a green element to it. And I think that's what's really, I, I noticed that as, I don't know if it's a season or what it is, but I'm getting into different fragrances um, that has different notes. I'm not just sticking with the caramel or the rose, sticking with the rose or sticking with the musk or sticking with, you know, I'm not just sticking that direction. And this is a safe, and I, I really think it's a very safe fragrance to purchase for somebody that you want to buy them perfume, but you're not sure if they're going to like it or not. Because even though it says intense, it does not, it's not like crazy. It really isn't. What did Latonia say? Let's see here. Big bottle of Bella. Oh, okay. You have the original Edo. So I had the original Edo, and I wanted to take the original Edo and this one and see which one lasted longer on my skin. If I could notice, you know, I like do a comparison. And my daughter, I think she, I gave it to her for Christmas, and um, she left it. She said she left it in her locker. So I haven't smelled it in a while, but when I went to the store, I smelled it at the PX and it smells nice, but this one, I think it's less sweet than the original. It just seems a little more like, um, for professional settings and stuff like that. I think it vibes really well that way as well. And I'm really, really liking it. I was really surprised. I was not, I've been liking a lot of Lancome scents lately. I don't know what it is. So the Intense has, it's woody, rosy, and the rose in it is, um, it smells like a rose flower. Imagine somebody buy you a bouquet of flowers, you know, something like that, you get that smell. White citrus, I'm sorry, white floral and citrus, powdery, it's got some patchouli in it as well, and it rounds off, it's balsamic, it's got vanilla in it as well. So when you're smelling it, you're going to smell the woodiness, but you're mostly going to smell rosy. And the citrus is like bitter orange. Like I said, it doesn't smell as sweet as the original. So you're going to smell some mandarin. You're going to smell some bitter orange in there. But that citrus doesn't like stay there. <clears throat> sitting, just sitting on your skin. What happens is that rose pops up. And then it's just really beautiful because of the way it's mixed with jasmine and jasmine sandback and stuff. So it's really good. I noticed that last Lancome, a lot of their fragrances, they like jasmine. Yep. And it also has acacia in it. This is really nice. Nice, clean, clean rose fragrance. And that's Lancome. This is one that I'm loving right now. So I did those two. Okay. So another one that I'm loving and I'm surprised that I'm loving, but I'm surprised because I got a sample and the sample is really strong. I got a sample from Dr. Rose and the sample, well, a decant actually. And it was it's strong. So I think I got the original version. And then I got this one, which is Lotre Oud. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lotre Oud. Correct me, please. Now, this one, I was tempted to send it back because I had my name, my initials embroidered on there. And I didn't like it because the J is too close to the D. But I decided I didn't want to get somebody fired because the embroiderer might have just started on their job and it might have been the first time that they were doing it and they might have been nervous. And if I sent it back and, you know, Lenko might fire them. So I decided not to say anything. <laughs> Guys, beautiful fragrance. This is gorgeous. And of course, the bottle. Look at that. Oud, the wood. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. Let's see here. I saw a comment about Idol Intense. Yes. How did you like the um the YSL, the Libre? Hi, Marilyn. Nadia, 
Now, how did you like the Libre? Yes, I have. And I have a video. It's already filmed. It's already edited. It's just in the queue. What I don't want to do is overload you guys. I have about five or six videos ready to roll. But I also want to do my lives because I love the lives. And so I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So I'm taking my time and releasing the information that I have. So I have a video on dossier coming. I have a video on um, uh, Lancome. I have a video on, I got about, yeah, several videos coming out right now. But I want to, so tomorrow I'm going to do the dossier video. And... Let's see. I have several, several videos coming out. So, and then I have to do a makeup video for the House of Siage. I already did the video that I released on my birthday, but I want to do a tutorial. Well, I don't like to say tutorial because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm trying to fix my hair. Yeah, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. So, oh my God, that Lancome is beautiful, guys. Gorgeous. Try Becca Bond, 15% off and on defense. No, I have not. And I don't, normally what I'll do is I'll check with Rose. <laughs> Rose is my bond queen. <laughs> so if I want to know about a, a bond fragrance, I'll ask Rose about it. And then she'll tell me whether or not it's worth it because she, she knows my vibe. Yeah. Getting into, ooh, we're in, oh, wow. Wow. I am, I'm on the fence because I'm, I'm like close. I'm close to hitting the button on getting that one. I really am. Let's see here. So back to the Tribeca question here. Okay, smells like, what did it say, tropical? Did you say tropical? Comes up as a tropical lush background rouge. Ooh, that's that's right up my alley. I love tropical scents. I love perfume, period. I have perfume, period. Let's see, floor, nice so good for now. Okay. I don't have that one. I do have a sample, a, a significant amount of the Narciso Floor. Um, no, Narciso Musk. Intense, I think it's called. It's like $118 on Fragrance Buy. So I'm kind of going back and forth. Kind of going back and forth. Let's see here. I think that there are certain ouds that are just out the box, crazy, like heavy, stinky. And I haven't smelled any of them yet, but so far I am loving, I'm loving the combinations of fragrances that I am receiving so far. Yep. Yes, it is. Let's see. Everyone needs their jobs. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, my daughter, we bang heads, right? We're tight, but we still bang heads. And when I had told you about the story about Maison de Darius. And then the next day, I don't know what she was doing on Friday night when I got it in, but the next day, you know, she talked and stuff like that. And I was like, got me to thinking as adults, we don't always... Kids and 21, the people in their 20s, 30s, and I would say teenagers right now, I think that they're seeing and they've experienced things that we never experienced at my age. And so they have the aptitude to be a little more strategic with their thinking. And so that's led me to be even more strategic with the way I ha handle my children and myself and my husband and my people around me and stuff. If somebody says something about work that I put in, I used to get really offended and stuff, but I utilize it as a work in progress and I use it as a way to improve. So I like, I really, really, truly, honestly do love to get criticism, but constructive criticism about certain things. And so as I'm looking at videos and stuff, things like makeup, fragrance, fragrance, I don't mind taking back to the store because I know that they could put it up on the, you know, as a, um, on the shelves to use as testers, they won't throw it away, right? But makeup, they'll throw away makeup. So I bought like Huda Beauty's last palette. I bought it and it's kind of, it's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay, right? And I can't give it to somebody and I can't sell it to somebody because I swatched it. I didn't swatch all the colors, but I swatched like two colors, right? So, I, you know, I don't want to take that back and then that's dumping, right? And so in my head, if a store is losing money, that's why I shop at Ulta and TJ Maxx and stuff. Because if you don't shop at the stores, the stores will close. They will close. 
that's people's jobs, you know, and seeing when they close down the dealers here, that's hundreds of employees. So my mindset when I'm thinking and stuff like that, so I was like, what if that person was brand new to the job and it was there, you know, you have a period when you get a job in the government, when you get a period, when you civilians in the government, they have a period where they're tested, you know, for a year, right? You're on probation, right? So in my head, I was like, what if this person was just learning how to do this? And this was the first time they got to do it on your own. So that, I know, I know it's in my head. Maybe it's not even like that, but that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of in my head, especially COVID, you know, um, that's how I think. Okay. Yes. I love it too. I love the Libra Intense. I didn't bring that out here because I have four more to go three, three more to go through. And then I don't want to keep you guys too late tonight. Let's see here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Britt. It is pretty. It is. I would say that some people like the regular, oops, sorry about that. Some people like the regular Libre. People are selling palettes on Macari. Used palettes? Really? I have a brand new Natasha Denona gold palette that I need to sell. I have brand new Pat McGrath um, number seven, the seventh one, the big mothership that I need to sell. I have um, some Star Wars because I bought, you know, more than, well, I told you all this was damage. I gave two away and I still have two. <clears throat> so for me, I, I don't know what it was, if, what it was depression or whatever, but I was buying backups for stuff that I, you know, like I bought like six or seven Rouge and the Narciso Rodriguez. I, I just was, I, I was I don't know. So I'm stopping doing that and just sticking with stuff that I love right now. But yeah, I didn't know that kid that people were selling makeup on Macari. Use makeup. I just, I don't know. If I know the person or if they're okay with it and they know how to sanitize and stuff and I have barely used the stuff, then that's fine. But I, I get a little worried because I don't want people to send something and then they get something wrong with their eye or whatever. And then they come in and they're blaming me coming after me. I would not like that. Yes, yes, yes. Number seven, that is Midnight Sun. I have the Mothership Midnight Sun, and I have the two, I think I have two more Star Wars palette. I have to check, but I have those. I had some, um, I have a Huda. I don't think I touched that one. It's the Rose Remastered, I think it was called. Yeah. Yeah. You have to sell them or give them away. I can't because I touched them. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes, me too. Hi, Tanya. Hi. Let's see. Macy's and Nordstrom sell 50% up. Jump on, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 50% off on, 15% off on fragrances. Yes. Which, Michelle, I have a lot of palettes. I counted the other day and I have a lot. And all those nines, those times nines with the Mac, hey, the moment one was out, I was in the Mac store, the PX, because I didn't want the Mac store to close down at the PX. So I was buying everything that the Mac had. I was buying it. I didn't care. I was just buying it. You know, I have a lot of Mac. Like, let me show y'all something here since it's right here. This is where I keep my uh, nail polish, right? Yes, yeah, in the right direction. And up here, I don't even wear nail polish like that because <laughs> I go to the, I used to go get my nails done. So, I, you know, so look at that. So now I'm practicing, I'm playing with nail polish. I don't know why I have all them nail polishes. I, you know, but I'm practicing playing around with it. So, yeah. All right. So the next one, we talked about Lotre Oud by the, um, this is also by Maison Lancome, not Lancome, but Maison Lancome. Guys, let me tell y'all. Raw tray food. I thought about buying the, 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 the new version and having the old version too. That's how bad I am. Okay. This is also rosy. This is beautiful. I think this is a little lighter. Let me put this on to, up here. A little lighter than the um than the one that Rose gave me. Because the one that Rose gave me is strong. 
This one is lighter, and I was I slept with this one the other day, and I mixed it with Jessica Simpson. Y'all know I like Jessica Simpson's fancy. I mixed it with Jessica Simpson's fancy, and I actually really like it. So I'm actually loving this right now. This is Maison Lancôme's Lotre Oud. <laughs> okay? All right. So I have two more to go. And this one here is, where is it? Oh, there we go. This one is Maison Francis Kirkjean Gentle Fluidity Gold. So I was on somebody's live the other day. Lord, I don't know who it is. And they were talking about how Gentle Fluidity Silver, it was Abby from the Charades TV. And she said that the silver is the bomb.com. And I think Coco Pebs also said that. Now, why Pam want the silver too? <laughs> mm, yes. Now I want, now I want the silver as well. Guys, love at first sniff. The first time I was privy to this fragrance is when um I went in Neiman Marcus and I didn't know what I was smelling, right? And they were like, oh, that's really pretty. You know, I thought that I was smelling this, which is the Baccarat Rouge 540, right? So this right here. See, I've got two more bottles and a half in here. So I thought that's what I was smelling. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. What I was actually smelling was Gentle Fluidity Gold. No, no, no. I take that back. I went to smell another fragrance and I smelled this and... I'm still smelling that Lothra Oud. And this one here, when I smelled it, it gave me the remembrance of being in Neiman Marcus. I didn't buy it. Mm, this is nice. The only problem I have with this, number one, the cap isn't as magnetic as I liked. I would have liked it to be, one. And two, the bottle too small. Because on my skin, it doesn't last as long as I thought it was going to last. So I got four hours, but for the price, you guys, you know, I want it to last longer. You know, I want it to last longer. So, but I think you could just, you know, I could make my sample or just because it's a small bottle, I could take this with me. Let's see. I spray gold on one side of my body and silver on the other. <laughs> you know what? I want silver. I, I do. I do. I do. Silver. Oh, okay. I have never tried the silver. That's the thing. I'm, I don't want to go spending money on it. So you have silver and, you like silver and gold. Okay. So, hi, Stephanie. I, I miss you. Hello, hello. Okay, yeah, I have not, I have not tried it yet. Okay, so Tanya just confirmed. It leans masculine on her. Tanya has me wanting that dog on Joe Malone, the new one, the red bottle. Yep. Yes, love it for a sniff for me with this one. Hi, Indecence. Hi. I missed when you came in. I'm sorry. Yes. Order samples. and Yes. Okay, I will. I will. And the samples didn't. I had pulled up the site when we were talking the other night. Teresa, I don't think um, I haven't ordered it yet. I just have the page up and the basket. It's in the basket. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. Let's see. Okay. So hi, Random. Hi. Hi, Random Lifestyle Blog. Thank you for joining. So Baccarat Rouge 540. I have a video coming out tomorrow. I did a comparison. And I'm going to, I'm not going to spill it. I'm going to let y'all, you know, what my thoughts are, but I was shocked because yeah, I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one there. Let's see what the comments are saying. Where are my spectacles? Here they are. I got one for y'all guys. And I'm telling y'all, I was shocked that I like this too. Everything that I'm liking for so, so I was shocked except the lay. The um the the lay the Mongolan the Mongolan floral and this which is the Notorietta everything else we've talked about tonight I was shocked 
Like literally, I was shocked that I was in love with these things. Like I am. Scarlet Puppy, yes. Yes, please send me a sample because I'm about to go buy a bottle just off of your video. <laughs> I, oh, I love, I have that too. I absolutely love that. And I also love LeBeau and I love Ala Rose. I have LeBeau, Ala Rose, um, Grand Soir, and this one, Fluid, Fluidity Gold. I don't have Killian Rowling in love, but I had it before because I bought a huge uh, set. Yeah, when they had first come out. I love Grand Soir. You just bought it? Yes. Yes, you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. Tomorrow my video is coming out. It's I don't know what time I'm going to post it yet, but I am hoping to post it. I'm going back and forth because um, my analytics, I'm trying to follow my analytics on YouTube and one minute it's telling me to post it this time and next minute it's telling me, you know, so it's confusing the crap out of me. So I may post it early tomorrow about 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I agree, Britt. I agree. Because I like to dry down. Although I wouldn't mind getting my hand on some oud satin mood because that bad boy i got a little sample from somebody and ooh, child you know and then also abby said oh so mood smells better than satin mood so i'm i'm excited see brighter than rolling love is soft to be worn spring okay great it still has depth okay <gasps> ooh, i'm getting excited i'm getting excited Okay. I'm buying it from someone. I hope she hasn't sold it yet. <laughs> okay. Me too. Me, me too. I am just loving, loving fragrance right now. And when I started the video, the, the live, that's what I said. I am so grateful right now. I'm, I'm taking the things out of my collection that I'm just kind of, uh, I like. And almost everything in my collection so far, I am loving and I'm testing things out. I'm truly paying attention, you know, and if two or three hours, I'm still mm, mm, like this bad boy right here, I will never be without this. Well, it might take me a long time to get through this anyways. So the last thing I have for you guys, it's another haul, but I haven't done the video yet. So it's coming. Okay. Whoa. It's coming. And I think. Yep, I surely did. I surely did. It is. I was smelling it. It's leaking because I did the same thing I did with the... Um, I hate when that happens. Look at that. Look at all that fragrance. Put it on my thighs. So when I opened this up, I noticed it was leaking. Oh. <gasps> I think something's wrong with my bottle. <gasps> yep, something's wrong with the bottle. It's Bubblegum Chic by Healy. Yep, it sure is. I don't know why, but it's leaking. But guys, it smells like bubblegum. It smells delect delectable, delightful. Yeah, I don't know why it's leaking, but it is. Sometimes I wonder if people are in my closet and my perfume. But this is what the bottle looks like. With the exception of, you see that fragrance oil all over it. It's by Healy. And it smells divine. Jasmine. How Jasmine supposed to smell? Not that synthetic, not that synthetic, uh, how do you say? What was it I smelled? Uh, Maison Lancôme's Jasmine Marzipan has that sort of a slightly synthetic vibe to it. This one smells nice. And, and the tuberose, the combination of the tuberose and the jasmine. Oh my God, my hand smells good. <laughs> oh gosh. My always smells like bubblegum too. Yes, 
It does a little bit. It smells like hard candy, the big hard candy that's sort of clear. Yeah. Mmm. Check it up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is Healy Bubblegum Chic. Guys, it is gorgeous. I am telling you, it smells different. Making sure I didn't break it. it Y'all, my heart will, if this, if I broke this bottle, I would have to decant it. Because it's magnet, it's heavy. It's a very heavy cover, so I don't know why it's leaking. Yeah, but gorgeous, gorgeous. This is only a 50 mil, and I wore it twice. Yeah, twice. I tuberose, it's light. It has a, I don't know how to say, it's like a clean, I don't know how to say other than a clean tuberose. Is there such a thing, a clean tuberose? Oh, yep. Yeah. Smells fantastic. Jasmine tuberose. Mm, let me pull it up real quick on Fragrantica. Didn't get like over four. Um, didn't get over four in the the rating, but it's very, very, very. It it has like an animalic vibe, and it says that on here on Fragrantica too. It has like an animalic vibe to it, but it smells clean. Tuberose, jasmine, that's what I get. Fruity and it musky, but it's not, it's, it doesn't have a, I'm looking at four ingredients. That's it. Gorgeous. And it's, in my opinion, it's a, it's a scent that both men and women, if men like sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And it has like almost, um, how do you call it? Like a metallic, you know, like if you hold like a, a, a pin or something metallic in your hand, and not not money, not, not 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 like money, but if you hold metallic in your hand, something metallic in your hand for too long, and then you have that, you, you can smell that slight metallic vibe. That's what I get with it, but it's not offensive, believe it or not. It's not offensive. Mm. It's just pretty and it's, it's fun. But natural, clean, that's all I can think about. Natural, clean, what? Nothing synthetic like there is no fake element in it to give it the fragrance or to get to lift it or anything it's nothing like that yeah so that was my last one that i had and that is red brook who's talking about red brook random lifestyle oh hi Ren. oh i already said hi to you i thought it was someone else okay hey i talked look here there's the man of the hours up in here y'all the man of the hour. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is Healy, and this is Bubblegum Chic. And I think this brand James is by the, the guy, the perfumer, the house is called. Oh my God, this is good. It's James Healy, and I think he's rebranding Bubblegum Chic because of the name, I guess. To Jasmine OD. Overdose on Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's leaking. But it's leaking. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Jerry's in his house. That's Chai since I was talking. So Jerry, Chai... This gentleman right here, he has a channel. Please make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's the one that put me on to the Talia Ferro. Okay. He's the one that put me on to this brand. And I am loving it. Mm. Let's see. Mr. Ferro will. Please, yes. Please. And then watch the replay. We're, only, we're not here very long. In five minutes, we'll be off. We're only doing an hour and a half lives and trying to do shorter lives. That way, when people are watching the replay, they can watch the entire thing and not miss all the fun that we've been having. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hi, this is Abby. Now, this is the friend that I told you all I was watching, and we were talking about um, 
Gentle Fluidity Gold versus Gentle Fluidity Silver versus Baccarat Rouge Oud Satin versus Oud Silk Mood. So I was on her live the other day, and that's when we were having that conversation. Mm. So good. Thank you for joining, guys. Really appreciate y'all. OMG. This is great. Great, great, great. Great. Okay? Great. This is a clean jasmine. Again, this is Bubblegum Chic by James Healy. And this is the Extrait de Parfum. And for how much it costs, I'm mad at leaking. <laughs> but it's kind of like, um, what's that fragrance? Mancera's. You know, when you turn them, perhaps I turned it or something. Perhaps I did something wrong. But when I opened it up, it was like all over my hand. So I'm scared to turn it. So I lost, you can see I lost some fragrance because this is a new bottle. Yep. Anyways, guys. So tomorrow I'm going to be posting a video. It's going to be on Dossier Fragrances. I did a review. Well, it's an, it can be a full review, but an initial review on some of the fragrances. Me apologize in advance. I was like way excited. <laughs> I think I had too much coffee. <laughs> But I was way excited. So I'm going to be posting that tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we will go live again. We will go live on Sunday. And what I'm going to be doing is my haul on Sunday. I have some amouage. You can get fancy. I have some fragrance de bois. You're getting fancy. All I'm saying is your girl getting fancy. <laughs> So, and that's all Nika's fault. That's all I got to say. Well, that's what I said to get what I want anyways. I said, Nika said I had to have it. <laughs> oh, gosh. What did Jerry say? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Do I see you tomorrow and using your coat? Yes, I have. My coat is going to be Pam 10. And this is just a blessing to have you guys come and hang out with me. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate all, and I mean all of you. Um, we love it. <laughs> and we love fancy the perfume too. Yes, we do. Yes. So I do have, um, my collection is growing to only things that we love. And that's where I'm trying to head in that direction. So I will be having another sale. I don't have a lot to sell, but I do have to get a, um, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta fix this habit I have called buying perfume. But that's coming, a sale's coming. But for me, I'm just buying things that I love or that I, I, I wanna test and sniff, but I'm not getting always the opportunity to do so. But I'm telling you what, if you haven't, tonight I put the link in, the, in, in here, D Talia Farrell, T H E. Hold on. That one was for Valet B Talia F E R R O. And I will put the link to his site to the fragrance that I wore that I am loving today. I like both of them, but this is the one that I wore today. And I did um, on Instagram, I did my little video spell that I like to do in the mornings. No, I did Healy this morning, but I did room 129. I wore that yesterday. So, yeah. So there I put the link for Deep Talia Ferro. Right now it's marked down from Markdown. This, it's a sale. So from $69.99, you will be buying it for $50. And you get free shipping if you buy a certain amount. You could reach out to him on Instagram, Deep Talia Ferro on Instagram. Please go over to his page and um not subscribe but you know follow him let him know that i sent you please 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 let him know that i sent you um to his page and he also has um some other things like you can make your own fragrance and stuff like that so they do consultation and all sorts of stuff right but right now i'm just stepping into his brand and i have the room one to nine which i love still loving it it does die down to a beautiful skin scent but I still love it, okay? And it's only 50 bucks, so I can spray as much as I want to my heart content. And then I also got the um, Room 1 to 9. And the other one I had gotten was... God, I can never remember the name of these fragrances. Because I have too much. <laughs> the other one was the one that smells like food. Cloud 9. Okay, those are the two I have. I think I want to try Wealth. I'm, I'm going back and forth on that one. Um, I'm also looking at getting Lady 
Chakma or Shakma. That's only 75 bucks. And I know that I want bed. Um, all I got to say is room one to nine, you're smelling the cherries and stuff. But guys, these things, when you put it on your skin, when I put it on my skin, it smelled like expensive bed sheets. That's what it smelled like. And I absolutely adore the smell. The cherry oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, Stefan. Yes, we only want things we love. So that's where um that's the direction that I am heading in right now, and I'm absolutely enjoying that direction. So you have the Leah Farrakhan and samples. I didn't get any samples with mine. I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on the video. I'm gonna post the video as a um a premiere so we can chat, and then on Sunday at 4 p.m. we're gonna do our haul. And I will see you guys then. So please, if you're able to join it, I would really appreciate you. Let's see here. Smells great on you also. Yes. I love it. I absolutely love them. I am so thank Jerry, thank you so much for introducing us to that brand. Y'all know how I am. If I love something, guys, Wendy, good night, my dear. Mwah. If I am, if I find something and I'm loving it, I want to share and I want everybody to know about it. Okay. So See you tomorrow on the premiere and then again Sunday at 4 for the live. Um, don't forget when the video comes off, please make sure you go in the comments. Let me know that you were in the live. If you have questions and stuff like that, let's communicate. Make sure you thumbs up, please. I would really appreciate it if you remember to thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel. For those of you that are watching on Facebook, you have to give permission to face uh, to StreamYard in order to like chat and stuff like that. So just check us out. You can check, come to my YouTube channel and you don't have to do all of that. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the premiere. So take, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.